Hello everyone, Edge here with the ViewSonic G-Tab and today we're going to do the first of what may be many tutorials. This time we're talking about sideloading apps onto the ViewSonic G-Tab running TNT 2.20 Lite or TNT Lite 2.20 and running Froyo which is Android 2.2. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our USB cable connected right there which we do. It is connected up to my PC which is running Windows 7. I'm running 64-bit, not that it's going to matter because this is uh, going to be pretty much the same procedure whether you're using 64-bit or 32-bit. Now up here this exclamation mark it says USB connected. So let's turn on USB storage. We'll wait until uh, we have some indication here that it's on. Now it looks like it's on. So I look over on my computer and sure enough it says right there. Let me set this down and see if I can... Uh, well, sorry folks. Uh, open folder to view files. So when you do this it's going to open up the SD card. What I, Now I, as a practice, always put new apps that I'm putting into my um, G tablet into the download folder. So I downloaded an app from xdadevelopers.com and it's the settings catcher. This looks like a pretty neat uh, pretty neat little application I want to use. So I'm just gonna plain and simply copy it and if I could find there it is and I'm just gonna paste it right into here and there it is, went right at the bottom, that's where I just pasted it to. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this window out, go back to the G-Tab here. And now I'm going to tell it to turn off USB storage because when you're connected with the USB storage, the file system, the Android file system unmounts the SD card. As you can see right now, it's preparing the, the, the SD card um, scanning tablet storage. We're going to cancel that right there. So now I should be able to go into the ES um, file explorer and go to the download folder where I put that uh, settings catcher. And there it is, settings catcher. So all you have to do is press on it once. It says, do you want to install this application? I will say yes. There we go. Application installed. I just side loaded an application onto Android. Now, what does Settings Catcher do? Let's take a look. Because you're seeing it for the first time just like me. So. Hmm. That's the regular settings. That's what the settings looks like here uh, in. in uh, 2.2. Let's see. I didn't see it anywhere. It should have been. Maybe it's uh, listed under a different name. So let's start at the at the beginning here. Um, go through and sometimes this happens when the name of an application t turns out to be different than what the uh, what you downloaded it as. Hmm. And I am not seeing it, so let's go back to the desktop and see if uh, maybe it is. No, it's not a widget. So let's see here. Let's go to shortcuts. We'll create that one here. So. Interesting. Well, I may have to play with this specific app. Um, I can go ahead and sideload another app for us to take a look at. Um, I will continue to mess with uh, this other um, settings catcher to see how it works. But, well, yeah, like I said, we'll sideload another app here. Go back to ES Explorer. Uh, let's see, what do, what's here that I don't have installed? Uh, photo bucket. I don't think I have photo bucket installed on this. No, I don't. So again, I'll just click on it. Uh, click install. It says application installed. If I open it, 
Uh, it says there's an upgrade, so I'll tell it to upgrade. And interestingly enough, this application uh, is already on uh, the market or has been on the market. So it found an update. It's going to update it now for me. I'm hoping it adds the uh, the landscape view because that portrait view that it's kind of stuck to is uh, kind of annoying for me at least because I, I like to have my tablet uh, specifically in landscape the vast majority of the time. So anyway, that's how you sideload uh, onto the ViewSonic G tablet. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, always uh, check out xda-developers.com. They've got a great forum there that supports the G tablet. A lot of developers uh, posting there uh, all the time. And uh, obviously, if you've got anything uh, you want to see from me or if you have any comments, please leave them. I love watching uh, the comment sections grow, and I try to get to every comment uh, as quickly as I can. Thanks very much for watching, and... Uh, Tune in for the next one. Edge out.